Hello friends, welcome to my tutorial. In this lesson, I will teach you on how to uh, configure remote access uh, VPN uh, to TP. In this lesson, I will teach you on how to do it. As you see, this one is the scenario. I have the ISP with this IP address. And then this ISP link to my magnetic router with the local LAN, as you can see. And then I want my external client to work this user access to the LAN, okay? Let's say your management or your staff want to access your file server in your local, they need to do, they need to access by VPN. So here is the VPN IP that I want to uh, all this client to access, okay? So to configure this, make sure that your magnetic router has been accessed to the internet. Now let me uh, uh, check this one. Let it go to my client. Okay. Okay, so here's my client. Get this IP address. 172.116.16.254. Okay. Now I will let my ping to the internet. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait. I double click. Now we ping google.com. Okay, so this client can access to the internet as well. Okay, now what is I ping uh, the client? Okay, I just start up. But I can also ping from Windows XP, this one. Okay, this IP address. They get this, this for an IP address. Okay. They can access the internet as well for this one. Okay. I just start up my uh, window 10. Anyway, you can also ping from here. Okay. Let me try to access the ping. Then before we do uh, VPN. Okay. My LAN IP is this. Let me ping. Two hundred fifty-four. Okay, you see, when my client from the channel, I want to access to this LAN, I cannot. So to do this, okay, to configure L2TP, okay, first you need to log into your magnetic router, and you go to IP and then you go to pool. Okay, we want to create a pool. This pool, this one I want, we an pool with an IP. Okay, I want to uh, create this IP so when my ethanol user want to access the LAN, they will get this IP address in this range. Okay, Let's click here. Let me say VPN pool. Okay. I want to put this IP address. Let me see. One nine two one six eight ninety. I will put IP address from one hundred to ninety hundred ninety. I will give only like only ten IP, so I will one hundred and ten. Okay. 110 and this one I left it before none apply okay so after you create the IP pool you need to go to PP and then you go to interface I want to use this L2TP server so I enable it enable this one I will use the full encryption this one I need yes okay and then I need to Put the authenticate uh, uh, IP security. Okay, secret. I put one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one. I just it's simple, so I put easy. But for you, you need to do it more like more secure, strong password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Apply. Okay. After you finish this, you go to profile. Okay. 
I want, you can also use the full or the full encryption, but I recommend to use the full encryption. When the connection, uh, connection come, we can uh, encrypt, okay? So for local IP address, this one, you can also choose the HTTP pool. If you use the HTTP pool, mean that uh, you want to use the IP address of your LAN, but I don't. I want to, I want to use the IP address that I signed over here. So I choose VPN pool. Okay, so the remote access when they get also the VPN pool, I don't change. Okay, I use this one. I don't want it to affect my uh, LAN. Okay, then you apply. Okay, and after that you go to secret. Okay, secret this one we want to create a user when they want to connect to our LAN. Okay, I will add like user or VPN user or user 002 okay and then the password it require I will put the password okay and then service you just need to choose L2DP because we want to configure VPN uh, using the profile of L2TP and profile this one we use the full encryption uh, we just mentioned earlier okay after that you just apply okay okay now let's see if our configure a success or not okay I go to my ethanol okay this one is client in my LAN with this IP address and then I have user from ethanol okay this user let me ping okay we will ping to, to this user sorry ping screen 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 in fact it cannot be recognized or cannot be accessed because that we haven't configured the VPN on the client side so to allow this user from ethanol you need to configure on the client side to do this you go to your network okay I can go from here it will be faster you just right click on it, open network and sharing center. Or in fact, you can also type here. Uh, you can search your VPN here as well. Okay. Now just wait. You see the request timeout. This means it's not uh, be able to access to the land yet. Okay, just wait. Network and sharing center. Okay. This one because of the the performance of my PC a bit slow, so that's why it will be pop up here. It can be caused by the network. Okay. And then you go to VPN A1. Okay, click on VPN, add VPN. And then here you need to choose build in. And then this one you need to put your connection name. I will put Any name depend on you. I will put uh, okay my VPN. Okay, I will put my VPN, and here is the IP, the public IP of your server. You need to put it public IP. Mm. Okay. This one you have to change to L2TP with this key. Okay. And then you need to enter the the key that we just created. Okay, this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. That we just created earlier. So. 
Okay, then it will become with my VPN. So you can connect over here. Or you can also connect over here. Close. You go to your network. It will be list all the VPN. Okay, my VPN. Connect. Okay, and then here's the username that we just get tip zero zero. Uh, what? I go to check in case I uh, forgot 10 pp profile secret user 002. Okay, user 002. And the password. Okay. Verify. Okay, now it connect. Let me ping again. Ping to my client, everyone. My client here. Uh, my client here. Okay, you see now this 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 uh. It non user can access to our land. What is I ping uh, to this IP address? Okay, this IP address is what I check. I can check over here. D. Okay, because it's a bit slow. Let's say if you can access to your LAN, so this client can also access to this uh, PC because it is in the same LAN. Now we go to MicroTech and see the active connection. You see, the active connection user is also 02 with this IP address. Okay, so the IP address that they get is this IP within, within, uh, within our uh, VPN IP. Okay. Okay, so the communication uh, between LAN and HNR can be accessed. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. I hope that you find this lesson uh, useful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.